Faithful Muslims pray five times a day. Does this have something to do with Islam? Yes, because Muhammad commanded his followers to pray five times a day. Non-Muslims, of course, can pray five times a day if they want. I might end up praying five times tomorrow. But Islam commands it, so it's not just a coincidence when Muslims obey this command. Faithful Muslims recite the Shahada. There is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is his messenger. Does this have something to do with Islam? Yes, Muhammad commanded his followers to recite the Shahada. Faithful Muslims take the pilgrimage to Mecca. Does this have something to do with Islam? Yes, Muhammad commanded his followers to take the pilgrimage to Mecca. The Islamic State just released a video showing a group of Yazidis converting to Islam in order to avoid being put to death. Here's a clip. Do these forced conversions have something to do with Islam? Politicians, the media, and Muslim organizations like CARE and ISNA say no. But what does Muhammad say? Sahih al-Bukhari, 6924. Allah's Messenger said, I have been ordered to fight the people till they say, La ilaha illallah, there is no God but Allah. And whoever said, La ilaha illallah, Allah will save his property and his life from me. Sahih Muslim 33. The Messenger of Allah said, I have been commanded to fight against people till they testify that there is no God but Allah, that Muhammad is the Messenger of Allah, and they establish prayer and pay zakat, and if they do it, their blood and property are guaranteed protection on my behalf, except when justified by law, and their affairs rest with Allah. The same Prophet who commanded his followers to pray five times a day, and to recite the Shahada, and to take the pilgrimage to Mecca, also commanded his followers to fight people until they become Muslims. So when politicians and the media and Muslim organizations say otherwise, they're treating us like idiots who are too stupid to read words off a page. So ISIL speaks for no religion. Their victims are overwhelmingly Muslim, and no faith teaches people to massacre innocents. No just God would stand for what they did yesterday and what they do every single day. So this is about a battle between Islam on the one hand and extremists who want to abuse Islam on the other. It is absolutely vital that we make this distinction between religion and political ideology.